Hello everyone. Today I'll explain to you how does the Fourier transform decomposes an image into its frequency components. When the Fourier transform decomposes an image into its frequency component, it reveals the contribution of different spatial frequencies in an image. In the previous video, we have seen that the frequency components can be categorized as high frequency or low frequency based on their corresponding spatial scale or rate of change. And again, from the last video, let us recall that the frequency component obtained through the Fourier transform represent the distribution of frequencies and their magnitude in the image, providing information about the variation in pixel intensities across different spatial scales. And also that the Fourier transform decomposes an image into its frequency components by representing the image as the sum of complex sinusoidal functions of different frequencies and magnitude. The process of decomposing an image into frequency components using Fourier transform can be analyzed by understanding the following components. Spatial domain uh, or the image in spatial domain image in Fourier transform after applying Fourier transform, the frequency component, magnitude spectrum and the phase spectrum. Now let us understand the image in each of these steps. In spatial domain, an image is initially represented in spatial domain and in this case it is composed of discrete pixels with specific intensity values. Each pixel represents a sample of the image intensity at a particular spatial location. Next step is the Fourier transform. The Fourier transform is applied to the image using techniques such as 2D fast Fourier transform or FFT and this transforms the image from spatial domain to the frequency domain. The resulting frequency domain representation is a complex valued function which can be seen here in this slide. The original image is given and its Fourier transformation is given as an image representation as well as the matrix is shown here. For an original image, the max matrix is the intensity of each pixel. When you convert it into Fourier transform, it is a complex mathematical, uh, complex valued function which consists of the real and the imaginary part. Next is the frequency component. The complex valued that is representation that is obtained from the Fourier transform provides information about the frequency content of the image. It consists of both magnitude and phase component for each frequency present in that image. Now, if you take any one of the cell uh, in the matrix, the value given here represents a complex number in the form of a real part and an imaginary part. We will discuss in detail what is what does the real part conveys the message as well as what is the imaginary part of the complex function conveys uh, the message to us on ter in terms of the uh, value of the image or the features of the image. Now the magnitude spectrum is calculated by taking the absolute value of the complex valued representation given in the Fourier transform and it represents the magnitude of the different frequency components in the image. The magnitude spectrum provides information about the strength or, or what we can say the importance of each frequency component in an image. So here you can see that uh, the complex valued function is uh, con uh, converted into absolute value of it to, uh, to represent it in the form of a magnitude spectrum. Now the next is the phase spectrum. The phase spectrum is obtained by calculating the phase angle or the phase shift for each frequency component and the phase spectrum represents the spatial phase relationship between the frequency component which affects the image spatial structure and by analyzing the magnitude and space phase spectra it is possible to understand the frequency content and spatial characteristic of the image. The magnitude spectrum highlights the presence of different frequency components while the phase spectrum provides information about the spatial arrangement or the phase relationship between these components. The Fourier transform allows us to decompose the image into some of complex sinusoidal function with varying frequencies and magnitude. And this decomposition provides insight into the frequency content of spatial structure of the image, which enables for further analysis, processing and manipulation of the image based on the frequency component. And in my next video, I will explain to you 
how to understand the values we obtain after apply fourier transform thank you for this session and please like the video as well as subscribe to the channel if you find it interesting